In this video, we'll find the oxidation numbers for each of the elements in HClO3. That's chloric acid. So the white, that is the hydrogen, the green is the chlorine, and the reds are the oxygen atoms. We use these rules here to find the oxidation numbers. Going down the rules, we can see that hydrogen, when it's bonded to a nonmetal, is plus one. It's bonded to this oxygen. Oxygen's a nonmetal. So the oxidation number for the hydrogen, plus one. We also can see that oxygen is a minus two, except a few instances. So each oxygen is going to be minus two. Chlorine is in group 17 on the periodic table. It should be a negative one, but there are a few exceptions, and one is when it's bonded to oxygen. So we cannot use this rule right here to find the oxidation number for the chlorine. But we can use this rule, because in a neutral compound, this is neutral because there's no plus or minus charge, all the oxidation numbers add up to zero. So if we have minus two, four, six, minus six plus one, that's minus five, plus the oxidation number for the chlorine here, all those have to add up to zero. Minus five and positive five, that would give us zero. So the oxidation number on the chlorine is plus five. So all of these numbers here add up to zero. So to recap, we found the oxidation numbers for the elements that we knew, and then we used the fact that a neutral compound will have all of its oxidation numbers adding up to zero to find the oxidation number for the chlorine in HClO3. This is Dr. B with the oxidation number for chloric acid, and thanks for watching.